President Obama may finally be showing a little bit of backbone. He plans to nominate three judges to the Court of Appeals for the District of Columbia Circuit. And right now, there is uh, three vacancies. Uh, the court is split as it stands between four Democrats and four Republicans. Those other three that Obama now needs to fill, they used to be Republicans. So by doing all three at once, what he's saying is, uh, Republicans, I dare you to filibuster all of the nominees. Because if you do them all at once, then they need to come up with uh, three separate reasons to filibuster all three of them. And obviously that would make them look as ridiculous as they are and as obstructionist as they are. So it puts them in a politically uh, tough situation to determine whether or not they want to filibuster. Now, if I had to venture a guess, you know, past actions are the best predictor of future actions. So I think they'll probably filibuster anyway. But either way, I like the aggression from President Barack Obama. Of course, there are uh, judge seats, which we've talked about in the past, that have been vacant for over a thousand days. And uh, later in the same article here, they give you some specifics. Oh, actually, I didn't jot it down, but I can tell you uh, from memory. The way that it works according to tradition in the Senate is uh, certain judges who the president is supposed to nominate, the state senators are supposed to give him a bunch to pick from, select a bunch for the president to pick from, and then he picks it, and then they go through the approval process. Well, the Republican senators are just simply not picking judges. They're like, yeah, uh, here's what we're going to do. Wait until there's another Republican president, and then we'll pick. That's why there's been vacancies for over a thousand days in some circumstances, in other places, hundreds of days. They're just flat out stonewalling. It's the most blatant violation you've ever seen, right? So uh, why has Obama taken so long? Well, like I said, he's been going based off of Senate tradition. He's literally been waiting for to, to make the picks. He's like, all right, has, have the senators given me my options yet? And every day his advisors are like, uh, no, no, not yet. And I don't think they plan on doing it. And my favorite part of all of this, so Obama finally grew a backbone, said, well, well we're going to pick him anyway. Fuck it. And then if they want to filibuster, go ahead. Uh, Senator Chuck Grassley and Mitch McConnell both came out in separate press conferences. And they said that Obama was, quote, Packing the court. So that's a term, by the way, for those of you who don't know, which is a way, like, that's when the president tries to add a whole nother judge to the bench, like expand the number of judges to have the, the bench swing in favor of his party, right? Or in favor of his picks is a better way of putting it. That's what packing the court would be. It's been done in the past throughout our history. And what's awesome is that one of McConnell's staffers and one of Chuck, Lee's, Chuck Grassley's uh, staffers, Chuck Lee, that's awesome. One of Chuck Grassley's staffers, uh, when they said that, they were whispering to them, they're like, psst, psst. Yeah, no, 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 he's not, he's actually not packing the court because he's just trying to fill the vacancies. He's not like adding another judge. He's just doing his job, kind of. And uh, Grassley and McConnell like, just shut up, shut up. I'm trying to attack the president here, even though it's completely baseless. Just let me do what I'm gonna do here.